all right what it is what it do youtube and today i have a top 10 players that we will most likely be in the game like once again i'm not an ea game changer so this is just my opinion and just off the fact that we haven't seen these legends for since for seven plus years i guess but for number one i have dan marino i mean i think dan marino is probably one of the most requested quarterbacks I, I have um i have a couple more requested quarterbacks but dan marino i mean he's an unsung hero i mean even though he does have a ring i'm pretty sure he will i'm pretty sure dan marino is top five all time probably even top three all time despite not having a ring so i have dan marino most likely being in the um at 18 so hopefully things can go well and we can get a dan marino for next year and for number two, I have Terrell Owens for the simple fact that he should have been in this year's game. But the way that EA was talking some type of way to Terrell Owens, they act like he was just some goddamn Shannon Sharp. And I'm not even trying to throw shade at Shannon Sharp. He's a great receiver, but we're talking about Terrell Owens. If you want to talk to Jay Rice or Randy Moss, like, like you know what I'm saying? You can't be talking to no top five receiver like that. No, no, no fuck no. Matter of fact, top three receiver. Terrell Owens will always be, I mean, for simple, I mean, Terrell Owens will be, you know, number three. But, like, you know. The top three always consist of Randy Marjay Rice and Terra Owens, but I don't care. Those are the solid top threes. I don't care. You can mismatch it. You can put Terra Owens at number one, Jerry Rice at number two, or Randy Moss at number one, Terra Owens number two. Like, I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? So the, that top three, you can mismatch it. I don't care how you put it. Just, you know, just keep those in the top three. And for Terra Owens, I'm pretty sure, I mean, I think he was like 6'2", like, you know, and I mean, all right, height with great speed, physical, great hands, nice speed. Um, we're talking about a receiver who played with a broken ankle in the Super Bowl, and he was still killing the Patriots. So I'm just like, are you sure you want to talk shit to Terrell Owens like that, EA? But hopefully, Terrell Owens can brush that little sneak disc off his shoulder and you know, come to good terms with EA. Because, you know, EA be on that bullshit most of the time with these legends. Same thing with Jim Brown and, like, you know, all these other legends that we've been missing for some time now. And, hope, I mean, yeah, hopefully T.O. can keep some up his sleeve with that wink he just did. So... Hopefully that can mean Terra Owens confirmed or anything, but hopefully we can get a Terra Owens. And for number three, I specifically have Joe Montana for the reason being that when Tom Brady was young, his favorite quarterback was Joe Montana. And um, from a lot of articles lately, because I guess you know everybody, you know everybody declares declares Tom Brady the best quarterback of all time, but I'm not sure if Tom Brady is being humble or he just loves Joe Montana. Because he doesn't even think of himself as the greatest quarterback of all time. I'm pretty sure he thinks of Joe Montana as that. So, if anything, if we don't get a Joe Montana, okay, cool. But if we do, I'm pretty sure Tom Brady had the enough power since, you know, he's on the cover. I'm pretty sure he had enough power to put Joe Montana in the game or, you know, hit him up for a little contract or whatever. So, yeah, I got Joe Montana for number three. And, of course, his backup that took over and won a couple of Super Bowls, Steve Young. Um... I, I I mean I thought of it as in I mean I guess it would be cool to have both but if we couldn't have John Montana maybe Steve Young and I mean it, I mean it would be cool if we can have Steve Young I mean if it would be cool if we can have John Montana without Steve Young but it would be great to have both of them but you know since Tom Brady loves John Montana I I, I don't want to call it a guarantee but you know it I mean it is pretty most likely to see one if not both to be in the game. And for four, I have John Lynch. I mean, we all love hard-hitting safeties, and John Lynch was one of them. And he was a key part of the 2002 Bucks Super Bowl team, along with Derrick Brooks and Warren Sapp on the defensive side. Um, well, um, John Lynch, um, I'm guessing he hasn't been there since Madden 12. I'm pretty sure that everybody that I mentioned in this one and the players that we won't get have, haven't been there since Madden 11 or Madden 12. I, I think I think it's either one of those two that have a very stacked roster with legends. So it's crazy that we just getting 90s and you know you know same old same old. So yeah. Um, look, god damn. <laughs> oh my gosh. But um, damn it. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah. After that hit, yeah, he looking glitchy. Um. Um, he's looking like a ball hawk. I didn't think he would be, I didn't think he would be, I know, I know he was a run stuffer, but I didn't think he was too much of a ball hawk. Um, yeah, he may be glitchy. I, I, I think I might do it. Um, I, I, well, shit, if I can talk, I think I may add him on my whatever happened to series. Cause, um, I could have sworn he signed a contract with the Patriots, but he didn't play that season. 
if Buccaneers fans or Patriots fans can help me out. I think he signed with I think he signed with the 2011, 2010, like somewhere around there. I think he signed with the Patriots. But God, oh my God, this dude is really knocking heads, and it's not even funny. But um, yeah, the last thing he played with, the last team that he played with was with the Buccaneers. He signed like a three year, sixty million contract, but he never played that season. So I'm not sure if you, I'm, I'm pretty sure he retired that season. But yeah, um, hopefully we can get a John Lynch along with a Warren Sapp. And God damn. <laughs> hey man, this man's looking glitchy. God damn. Uh, man, man, I'm gonna keep it yeah, I'm gonna keep it rolling because this is crazy right now. Oh my gosh. This man he's killing okay, 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 I'm gone. On to number five. And for five, I have Charles and Rod Woodson. Hopefully we can get both, if not either or. But if we had to pick one, me, my personal opinion, I'm picking Charles Woodson over Rod Woodson. I'm not saying one. Is, I'm not saying one is better than I. I'm just saying if it came down to just picking one, I'm picking Charles Woodson. Um, you know they both played corner safety at one point at, in their careers. Um, I would I would have to say Charles Woodson would be more of a top five DB. I know the last time I said that about Darren Sharp or somebody gave me some shit. I mean, like, you know, the numbers don't lie, but I know if I said if Charles Woodson was top five, you know, they would believe me. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if Rob Woodson, I'm not sure if, I, I mean, I'm not trying to bullshit. I don't know if Rob Woodson is top five. I mean, I mean, not, I'm, I'm not sure if he's top 10, but. He may can squeeze him in top ten, but I don't think he's in top five. But um, yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, that is a good question. In the comment set, hey, let me know in the comment section who y'all think is better, Charles or Rod Woodson, because you know they both nice. I mean, it's just I guess it's just about numbers at that point. But um, hopefully we can get both. But you know, EA in a stringent legend process, we won't. Get, damn, did this nigga Rod Woodson really bully somebody like that? Okay. <laughs> But yeah, um, hopefully, okay, tip drill. Well, it's confirmed. Charles Wilson would have tip drill. Um, yeah, like I said, um, I'm just rambling. Um, I'm losing my train of thought. But yeah, hopefully we can get both of them, if not one. Um, yeah, and on to number six. For six, I have Kurt Warner. Um, we're talking about a guy who led the greatest show on turf to a Super Bowl victory by one yard. And we're also talking about a guy who um, was stocking shelves as a um, part-time cashier at um, at a Ollie's or a Kmart. I, I don't know, something like that. I don't know. The, I don't know the supermarket name, but you know, he got the call. You know, he's made it happen for many years. Um, Kurt Warner is a great quarterback. He's led two different franchises to a Super Bowl appearance. So um, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure if they do add a Kurt Warner, I think they will do the same thing as a Brett Favre. Like you know, they'll bring in like you know. A Sterling Sharp or Antonio Freeman to like you know hint like you know a Kurt Warner. I don't know. I I would hope they would do something like that. But I promise you, if they had like a Isaac Bruce, Tory Holt, and a Marshall Funk, and there is no Kurt Warner, I think EA is really I, yeah I, I, yeah they really playing with our emotions. If they add all of Kurt Warner's weapons, no matter of fact, if they add all of the greatest show on turf and they miss the most important piece, the quarterback Kurt Warner himself, like you no. Know, but yeah, me, my personal opinion, I think they would probably do, like, I pretty, I'm pretty sure they would do, like, the little Brett Favre thing with Kurt Warner. But, um, you know, I'm not an EA game changer. I can't tell the future. This is just my prediction. But yeah, hopefully we can get a Kurt Warner. Seven, I have Jerome Bettis. Now, I'm, I'm half and half. I'm wishy-washy. I'm iffy about having Jerome Bettis in the game for the simple fact that I, I don't know if it's just me. But Madden is so broke that I'm pretty sure they had like an Earl Campbell, Brandon Jacobs, like you know, a like a, a a big back in the game. I'm pretty sure they would get his stick and tackled easily by like a five eight Captain Munderland cornerback. Like you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, with EA moving to the frostbite engine, like they won't like you no know, none of that crazy shit will happen. Cause like, man, look at this. Like he's not getting tackled easily, so I don't want to see him getting tackled by no defensive back. To like you know what I'm saying? Like. It's not gonna happen. Like, I'm pretty sure. I think Jerome Bettis was like six foot six one, two thirty six, something like that. But like, like man, just look at this. Like, you're not gonna tackle. Look at this, man. You're not tackling Jerome Bettis with arm tackles and like you know, like no, like you know, stuff like that. But um, like I said, I'm I'm half and half. I don't know if I want him in the game due to the fact that EA will uh, allow him to get. Man, look at this. He's bouncing out for tackles. Man, just like, I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
But in Madden, he will get his stick and he will fumble in Madden. But hopefully, this frostbite injury can make it more realistic and, you know, none of that Fugazi shit can happen. But, um, yeah, hopefully. Damn. Hey, <laughs> I was just about to go, oh my. No, no, that's not even every. Oh, my gosh. But I, I was just about to end that. I was just about to end the little segment on, oh, my God. But, like I said, oh, I, yeah, I think this one, yeah. I think Rondé Barber about to get it too. Nah, yep, yeah, Rondé Barber got it. But yeah, um, I think that's a wrap on Jerome Bettis. Man, look at this. You mean to tell me a corner? I, I promise you. I, I I speak for everybody who's played Madden. He will get tackled by corners and DBs easily. Like you cannot tell me he wouldn't. But yeah, um, hopefully we can get him on that on a frostbite and it can be more realistic. He won't get tackled so easily. But um. Yeah, okay, before I go, I, I know I, I know I'm about to drag the hell out of this drone betters segment, but if anybody remembers, if the highlight can speed up a little bit, if anybody remembers the little goal line stand with Brian Erdelacker, Jerome Bettis won that battle. Like this man, Jerome Bettis ran over Brian Erdelacker for the goal line. But in Madden 17 on goal line, he will get stuffed by a safety, a corner, he'll probably fumble, like you know what I'm saying, all of that. But um hopefully moving to frostbite can make all of this realistic like no 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 six foot four 240 pound running back will get tackled by corners so easily but like you know what i'm saying man but i know i'm jacking the hell out of this drone baddest but um yeah on to the next one for a i have brown westbrook i'm sure all eagles fans would be hyped for westbrook and his one play ability to take a punt to the house, and, you know, a one yard stretch on a goal line to the house or something like that. Like, you no, know, he can turn a little play into a big gain or something like that. And, um, ho I mean, I'm not sure if he will be in the game, but hopefully, if he is in the game, they can get his speed right. Because I noticed with scat backs, like, you know, the little smaller, fast running backs, they haven't gotten too many of their speeds right. Like, you know, Dan Bros, he's been like a 90 speed for like, um, since like Madden 15 or something like that. He, the fastest he, the fastest Darren Sproles has ever been was like 95 speed and like man line and that still wasn't right. So hopefully if Brian Westbrook is in the game, they can get like, you know, they can, you know, get his speed right the first time. But, you know, they haven't really gotten speed right on scat backs too often and too accurate. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure most Eagles fans and a lot of people want a scat back like Brian Westbrook. I mean, to be real, I don't think we have too many scat backs in the game um, other than... Darren Sproles and Lamar Miller. I'm not sure how many of the fastbacks we have in the game, but um, I'm pretty sure. I mean, me myself, I'm more of a power back using type of guy. But you know, I love to use my um the fast running backs as well. And hopefully, I mean, I know some people may not regard to um Brian Westbrook as a legend, but shit, I'm pretty sure we would want him in the game with this type of speed in one play. Man, I mean, I mean, just look at the plays. He, oh man, if you take, oh man, yeah, that's touchdown. Yeah, that would have been. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a touchdown. But yeah, I'm pretty sure people would want Brian Westbrook in the game for his speed and his and um elusiveness and um yeah. On to the next one. For A, I have both A. Reed and Troy Palomalu. Um, like I said again, it's the same thing with um Joe Montana and Steve Young. Um, I hope we can get both of them, but if not, um, like, you know, it's just, you know, pick one, take one, and it's, it's, it's like that, so, in my opinion, I'm picking Ed Reed just for, um, like, you know, he was more of a ball hawk, I mean, Troy Palomalo was a ball hawk, but, like, you know, they're two completely different safeties, like, I'm not sure how good Ed Reed was against stumping around, but, um, Troy Palomalo, like, that, like, you know, that was his field of football, like, you know, I would say, like, you know, Ed Reed had, like, you know, good ball hawk, I mean, they both have good ball hawk skills, but, Avery, and like you know, Avery was a little bit more skilled in that position, and like you know, Trevor Palomalu had more instincts of football, like you know, the time to snap, like you know, to stop throwing, like you know. So yeah, they're two different, completely, they're completely two different safeties, like you see, um, as you see him on the left jumping over the pile, like that's instincts. I don't think Avery had that except for um, you know, just determining where the ball will go. But if EA could hopefully get both of them in, that would be great. For nine, I have the one and only Derek Thomas. I mean, this guy was a flat-out beast. I'm pretty sure all Chiefs and hardcore fans will want this guy on their line, pass rushing for them, and, you know, just getting instant block sheds. I mean, which he did. And like he, 
I mean, he can get the edge on the right tackle, left tackle, anybody. So, um, and on top of that, I'm pretty sure he holds the all-time single game sack record with like six, seven, or probably even eight. And um, I'm pretty sure he, I'm pretty sure he would have led the NFL history with like all-time sacks. If um, oh man, he's going with that scoop and score. Uh, I'm pretty sure he would have led the um NFL history in sacks if it wasn't for his tragic car accident that led to him being paralyzed and ultimately led to his death so um i don't know um they may have to talk to a couple baby mamas to get his rights so i'm not <laughs> it's like nah it's like nah yeah Derek thomas did have a lot of baby mamas and kids but other than that they might gotta hit one of his um wives or they, yeah they gotta hit somebody up for his rights so um hopefully they can talk to the right baby mama to get his rights and on to the next one 10, I have Pat Tillman, another physical safety that everybody will want in the game. And another reason is that he left the gridiron to serve this country. And that goes under the radar for a lot of people who don't know that and who do. But um, it, it, it really does go under the radar to serve this country at any at any point of your life or anything like that. And for, and for it to be Pat Tillman to leave his football career, I don't know how many... I don't. I honestly do not know if you could ask Le'Veon Bell to join, the, like you know, join the military. He'll probably say no. Like you know what I'm saying. So I mean, I mean the same thing with Muhammad Ali. You know, I know, I know this is way off topic. Like, but like you know, Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Ali served jail time rather than going. For, like you know what I'm saying. So, but yeah, um, I mean it goes under the radar what he did for this country, and um, he won't be forgotten. And um, hopefully, I mean like like again, um, I'm making this video on. June 7th, so he may be on a, um on an upcoming July 4th promo, so I'm not sure. Hopefully he is. If not, then he definitely needs to be in Madden 18 because it's a crime for his dedication for this country that he didn't, that he's not getting recognized for in Madden. So hopefully we can get him in on to the next one. I know this list is only supposed to have 10 players, but you know, I'm a Chargers fan, so you know, I had to throw in Junior say I mean, I just had to, but um. I hope, I hope all football fans know about Junior Seau. I'm pretty sure everybody does. You know, he's a fast, physical linebacker. You know, he's not afraid to hit your ass. And, like, I'm not sure how good he was at covering tight ends. And, like, you know what I'm saying? Playing coverage or whatever. But I think he was decent. Like, you know, tackling, I mean, I mean, him being in the box was not a problem. Like, you know, he did a great job in that. Um, Unfortunately, he passed away due to too many concussions that I guess he committed suicide. Something like that. So, um, I don't know how I'm pretty sure they'll get his rights from his daughter. I think his daughter presented him at the um I'm pretty sure his daughter presented his little shrine or statue, whatever, at the Hall of Fame. So they may have to ask his family or his daughter or whoever. I don't know. Um I think it would be pretty cool since, you know, they already got Willie McGinnis and Teddy Bruski, so they might as well just add um Junior Seau and uh, Mike Vrabel, if I said it correctly, I hope I did. So, you know, just you know, keep, you know, William Guinness and Teddy Bruschi and, and just add those two and they can probably have like, you know, all four of them can have like, you know, uh, Patriots, chemistry, line, I don't know, you know, just give them, just, you know, just give them all four chemistries, you know, so they can be great together in a four, three, I mean, in a three, four system. So, you know, um, other than that, um, yep, that is my list of players that we will, I'm, I mean, like I said, I'm not, a, I'm not an EA game Patriot, so this is not a hundred percent true. I'm pretty sure we, I'm pretty sure we will get half of these players, but these are all just my opinions. You know, I'm pretty sure Junior Savage is going to have a tip drill confirmed. Um, other than that, um, I hope we can get most of these players next year. Oh, man. I, oh, I, oh, let me find out. Let me find out Junior Savage was a ball. Let me find out he was a ball hawk. Okay. Okay, shooting the gap. Oh, yeah. But I'm about, yeah, I'm about to drag this video. But, um, oh, man. Um, I forgot what I was about to say. So, yeah, hopefully we can get, you know, everybody on this list. And to, for next year, other than that, um, I'm going to hit y'all up with another video, probably something else. I got to think of some. I probably, you know, do more whatever happened to series. But other than that, all right, I'm gone.